morning, players and haters. It's your least favorite duels here. Um, I'm just doing a little quick video before I go into work. I wanted to discuss the my ban my ban list predictions today. Um, so we'll kind of go over it. Um, I got a couple gems. We'll open up some packs and discuss what I think should be banned. And remember, this is just my opinion. This isn't like you know solid or foolproof. So what we're gonna do first is um, we're gonna look at the KC Cup. So we got three decks here. So that looks like the top three decks here were um, uh, we got obviously Dark Magician. Okay, Dark Magician. We had Cyber Dragon, and we had Spirit, uh, not Spirit, Ritual Monsters, Ritual Beasts, whatever. Um. So, you know, I'm pretty sure it's pretty, like, apparent that Dark Magician out there is just crushing fools. And, um, you know, it, it's pretty obnoxious. Same thing with kind of, like, Shiranui in a way. Um, you know, the World Flame Grass That's Greener deck is pretty... It's pretty oppressive when it pops off. Not necessarily... Um, all the time it's just when they get that good grass that's greener mill you're just like ah you know and you know I, I personally like what's funny about that grass that's greener sure Nui deck I haven't really um I haven't really dealt with it at all you know I haven't seen it at all or like I've never seen it really work out so uh here's my like kind of like ban list predictions here so I think they're going to hit um, Sealed Tombs. So if you're not familiar with what Sealed Tombs does, the, it uh, it uh, cuts off like graveyard shenanigans. It's pretty much like a little Necro Valley when you pop it. Now I think what they're going to do when they nerf, uh, if they nerf Sealed Tombs, would be to um, essentially you would just uh, change it so it's not like activatable on the first turn i would probably make it like after uh probably like turn probably like turn three and above i would say just to make it a little bit more fair give your opponent a chance to use their graveyard deck on you but i think like um doing it any more than that is gonna be too much to seal tombs just because like i think it's a necessary evil in a way because there are a lot of graveyard decks and it's kind of nice to have like an ability to counter it so that's like abilities getting nerfed for one um if you're wondering why i'm opening one pack at a time this is something i do when uh when i'm buying with gems because i don't want to waste gems on packs that uh are already done, you know? So, that's why I'm doing it one at a time. <laughs> but I just want... I just want this guy here. But anyways, so yeah, Sealed Tombs, I think, should probably be, like, activatable, like, turn three and past that. And maybe do it, like, Grit. Um, so, like, when you have Grit, it lets your opponent know that they have Grit. So that way you can kind of play around it. So maybe, like, just a little... The little nice thing of just uh, letting your opponent know, hey, like, I'm playing Sealed Tombs. Might be a thing too, so that way you know you have your necessary evil of of seal tombs, and then you also have uh, you also have like uh, a shot to like do something in the meantime because you know it's gonna go off. Uh, so yeah, so that's that. That's what I think about seal tombs. Now uh, we'll just go to the the elephant in the room, which is dark magician. Um, Actually, I'll probably get out of here real quick, so that way I can kind of explain it. So, some cards that need to be nerfed, so we'll go to Deck Editor here, uh, and then we'll just go to, I think I have a Dark Magician deck. I think I have one. Probably under the Pharaoh. Let's see. Probably Big Magic Man. Okay. Is it in here? No. Uh, probably under... Here? I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't really play Dark Magician. 
I guess we'll just go with the big Magic Man deck. So uh, one of the cards that I think might possibly might get hit, which wouldn't be like um, too like it's kind of like a necessary hit, but not really. So uh, I think like just so you know, people that spent money on Dark Magician aren't getting like screwed over too bad. Is maybe putting Magician a Dark Illusion to two would be a sense sensible idea and here's why because you know this is an essential card to the deck when you are playing dark magician and usually when they play dark magician they also run like treacherous trap hole and they run um enemy controller in there so by putting that card to two doesn't allow the dark magician to have enemy controller and treach and you know magician dark illusion so that way they have to kind of pick and choose what they want to do you know, it's like, hey, like, well, do I want, like, more recursion with Dark Illusion? Do I want some, you know, offense, defensive abilities, enemy controller? Do I want, like, more back row, like, monster destruction with Treacherous Trap Hole? So there you go. So I think Magician Dark Illusion is a good hit, limited to two. And then, um, the other elephant in the room would probably be, like, Shiranui. So if I have Shiranui around here. Thing is, honestly, I don't really play those. Oh, I do. Okay. So, I do have a Shirinui deck. Here it is. Whatever. Like, I don't really play it. You know? This is like a super early build when Shirinui was like still brand new. But anyways. So, some hits that they can do to Shirinui would be to um, probably limit Grass that's greener to two. So, I would say to, let's get Grass that's greener because this uh, limiting Grass is also going to be hitting like stuff in the future as well because this deck you know we're going to have like a lot of toxic decks in the future because uh some of the later releases of cards do a lot of graveyard shenanigans even more than now so hitting grass right now would probably be a, a, a good hit so i would say either take this card to semi-limited make it two or limit it to one which would like either way like would be cool I think banning it all together is, you know, kind of unfair. And if you notice already, I'm hit, I'm talking about cards that, uh, you know, that aren't ultra rares that you buy. These are, like, stuff that you get just by grinding. So, like, Magician Dark Illusion is something you can get out of, like, an ultra rare ticket or, like, an event. So, I don't want to waste people's money. So, the other, the other one, um, which I know for sure I don't play at all. So let's open up whatever random deck. We're gonna talk about element, element savers, element, elemental, oh. element saber. So you guys already know about the element saber um, invoke deck. So some good hits to the deck would be something like this, just so that way you know we're not wasting money for those people that already spent, but we're also um, not letting these insane decks just run rampant because i think invoked element saber has been going on way too long it needs another hit you know like six samurai kind of had like the same deal where it was just like everywhere and just like very oppressive so a couple good hits in my opinion we're not going to touch malahue you know it's an ultra rare that you have to buy we don't want to do that so i think a good alternative is going to be hitting um lapula so Lapula is essentially a uh, normal summon that's just like a, uh, I always forget his name, uh, Shien. So uh, Shien used to be a really, I mean, when you play against Six Samurai, you know, you've probably already seen this card before. You know, uh, did I even spell his name right? I, I don't even know. Is it E-I-N? Let's see. Sheen? No. I can't spell. It's early. You know, give me a break. What the heck is going on? Um, so I'll just show you Sheen real quick. Because I know he's a level 5. Oh, okay. He has a space. It's Sheen. Sheen. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if you played a little couple months ago with six samurai running around you saw this card you got upset 
So the Pula is essentially a Shein, but you know it's got a fatter booty in 2100 defense, and um, it uh, you know negates spells and traps, and it's pretty oppressive, you know. So I think limiting the Pula is a, a good way. Um, I think the Pula should be at one. You know, it's a rare. That way, um, when you if you are ending up to play Element Sabers, because I kind of want people to get away from playing Invoked Element Saber. So I think putting this to one in the same category as like uh, Invoked Cockatiss would be a great kind of change. So that way, like you have to play some other Invoked cards. You know, like here does Cockatiss already at one. So you have to choose either you want that big old defensive offensive booty in Cockatiss, or do you want to play kind of like a slower game with Lapula. Um, so yeah, because the thing is, is if even if you limit Lapula, you still have invoked, um, what the heck is that card called? This one here, Purgatrio, which I still haven't unlocked yet, or got. But yeah, you would at least still have Purgatrio, and it, you would kind of have to use some different cards. So Lapula should probably be at one, and then... Um, what else? So we already hit, you know, we already hit Dark Magician. We already hit uh, Shiranui with Grass That's Greener. We already hit Invoked. What's the other one? Well, Cyber Dragons, I don't know. I think, like, Cyber Dragons shouldn't really be touched right now. Just because it's brand new. Kinda. Like, it's still a couple boxes in. I think it's a pretty fair deck, in a way. You know, it is kind of oppressive here and there. Like, if they open up, like, a Bonkers Hand, like... Usually if they're on first turn and they opened up a core and they have like Veer in there and stuff, like it sucks. So um let's see if anything needs to go off the come off the ban list. So we'll get all these here. Um does anything need to come off? Hmm. I'm guessing, like, think for as far as monster cards, maybe some things that can come off the ban list will probably be, like, Rose Lover. You know, no one's really playing plants. And then maybe, like, Amazons can come out of jail now, you know? Because I think, um... I want to say that I think, like, Onslaught is still limited, right? Yeah, I'm, Onslaught is still at 1, so maybe, like, Amazon of Swordswoman can come off potentially um what else do we have here we got machine angel uh what is this one Megam oh yeah i remember that one hmm yeah so maybe amazon swords when we can come off i think it's like not that bad i would rather see the princess limited um, most of these, I think, are, like, okay to stay where they're at. The only other one that, like, I could consider, like, having it taken off would be, like, Hatronade. Because you actually have to buy this card. You know, like, it's not, it's not, like, insane. It is and it isn't. And then maybe, uh, I don't want to say this card because this card's pretty bonkers. Like, I think it should stay at two where it's at because it's kind of, it's a crazy card. Uh, yeah, like, this at one is pretty fair because, you know, people will probably argue to get this card taken off, but here's the thing is, like, you would probably run this in Dark Magician at two instead of, like, uh... Econ or Tretch potentially because you usually have a Dark Magician in the field and having a negate on a monster trap and then having like extra negates in um, navigation would just be insane. So that one seems fine. Everything else, yeah. I just think like Amazonas get pulled off and, and that's it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, tomorrow will be Tech, uh, Tech Talk Tuesday. Triple T. I already had the video recorded for like a week already. I'm just trying to space them out. I don't want to like overblow everything. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.